My name is Fred, Fred Boyce. I'm the herpetologist uh, for the North Carolina Aquarium at Pine Knoll Shores and I've been here since early 2012. I just love looking after these animals. I look after the snakes, the box turtles, a lot of the freshwater turtles that we have, um, and the alligators. All of our animals here get veterinary checkups once a year. Uh, whether or not they have an issue, they're just a health check, just like we do, and go to the doctor. So uh, the snakes are no exception, and it's great that our snakes get primo veterinary care. Probably the most important part about caring for snakes and other reptiles is keeping them clean. My brother's a veterinarian, and he always said that with reptiles, cleanliness really is next to godliness. So you want to make sure that what they're lying on is very clean and comfortable as well. We use a variety of substrates at the aquarium. My mainstay for snakes is 100% cypress mulch because snakes can be very sensitive to certain oils like uh, from pine and cedar. We also use peat moss, silica sand, and some cocoa fiber. North Carolina is amazing in that we have we have three species of rattlesnakes that actually live in the state and we have the largest rattlesnake and the smallest. North Carolina is a very important place from a herpetological standpoint. It's really one of the, to me, one of the most interesting spots on earth. People come from all over the world just to take pictures of these little rattlesnakes and also they would love to see an eastern diamondback. They're also incredibly rare now. Unfortunately, in North Carolina, they are so susceptible to habitat loss. Some of the best benefits for humans of snakes in particular is free pest control. They tend to eat things that ruin our food and also spread diseases. Reptiles are just a lot of fun. They're endlessly fascinating and they fire up our imaginations. 